Hello, welcome to this edition of Jana Brock's Bunny Talks. I'm Jana and today I am doing rabbit grooming. And with 10 rabbits in the house, that is no easy job. So grooming for me includes nail trimming for all the rabbits or at least checking to see if it's time to trim their nails or their claws and brushing the rabbits out. How often I do grooming just depends on are we in a shedding time? Is it a heavy shed? Some rabbits need to be brushed a lot more often, several times a day, some of them, while others might need to be brushed once a day during a shed. It just depends. And nail clipping, I've already gotten done for the day. So what we're gonna talk about today specifically is brushing the coat and how important that is, reasons to do it, and how often to do it. The other thing I want to say is about once a month, I do well checks head to toe, head to paw, I should say, about once a month on every single rabbit that I have in my care. So without further delay, let's hop right into today's topic. And today we're going to talk about heavy shedding and what you can do to help your pet rabbit and also to keep your pet rabbit safe during heavy sheds. And this doesn't just apply to heavy sheds. You can see as I'm petting her, she's got fur flying everywhere. She's about a week into a heavy shed. This is Kali, she's a mini lop. She's uh, just over four years old. I have her sitting on a large, wide, long, footstool that's covered with a towel and the reason I have her on a towel and I'm down lower is because rabbits should not be high up on tabletops. Now if they're used to getting their nails clipped and you know what you're doing with rabbits you realize their ability to launch then being very careful people do use um, uh, tables to clip nails to do brushing but what I want to talk to you about today with Kali are those periods of time that the rabbits go through several times a year, and it could be better or worse, easier or harder, depending on the breed. Kali's a mini lop, and she is one of my two furriest rabbits. I have several rescues here, about 10 rabbits right now, and uh, most of them are rescues, a few of them are rehomes, but you might be able to see that even just lightly petting her, she's shedding very, very heavily. Her partner is Graham. She has a, a buck that's, um, of course, a neutered mini lop. He was also a rescue. They're partners. Brushing her several times a day because of how much she sheds is important, not only for her, so that she does not get a lot of fur in her gastrointestinal tract, which could cause her to stop eating. It could cause a blockage, especially with a very furry rabbit like like this that you know, feels like she's half Angora. She's got that much fur. Um, it's not only for her, but it's for her partner, Graham, who grooms her a lot. When rabbits are going through these heavy sheds, we often hear that they should be brushed once a day. Kali gets brushed three times a day, at least. Not only that, if she has a lot of tufts, I very gently pull them out and you can see there's quite a bit of hair there and that's just one little tiny spot on her big body of fur. So I brush her about three times a day and then like I said, I also try to very gently, very gently, remember rabbits have very tender skin. It's very thin, it rips easily and it hurts. So don't ever pull on the fur. If it's ready to come out, you see how lightly I'm doing that, it'll come right out. I use one of these baby brushes, it's for a newborn baby. That's what it is. I also have a brush that's got a little bit firmer uh, bristles on it, just because for her, it's just, this brush is especially for her and it's got wire on the other side. I do not use the wire part. What I use the wire part for actually is to clean this baby brush. It pulls the fur right out of it and I can just pull it out and throw it away. So once in a while, I will use this harder brush very, gently because again the bristles are more firm. A lot of people ask Jana what kind of brush do you use? I use a newborn baby brush for every rabbit in my care from the littles that are just over two pounds each all the way up to the 17 pound Flemish giants that I have and other bunnies that come in for baby, uh, bunny sitting purposes or the bunnies I have that have just had surgery they're you know 
their human parents are at work and they don't feel comfortable leaving them at home or they sometimes uh, I get rabbits in that I keep for a week or two after surgery because their owners don't feel comfortable caring for them after they're, they're afraid they're not going to start eating on time they're afraid that they won't do something right so that's that's the kind of care I provide for local rabbit owners in addition to the rehabilitation work that I do and the rescues that have come into my care so I just just wanted to put this put this quick video out you know show you what I do of course when I when I'm combing or when I'm brushing their their little head I do it very gently and that's more of a grooming thing they enjoy that just to give them a little break and I just comb through their fur all over their body even on the back here if and if you can see her back she's such a good girl if you can see the back of her fur I it just you can see that as I as I brush it more and more and more comes out again this is a weekend to a heavy shed for Kali and this is the second time I brushed her today so she's just constantly 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 losing fur so just a recap you brush them until you've got most of the loose fur out. Do it gently. Their skin is very fragile and tender. You know, imagine yourself having, having your hairdresser take your hair and just pull it repeatedly, repeatedly. Don't do that. You know, you see people like getting big tufts of fur and just pulling it and, and the rabbit's jerking. And, and well, that's because they're, it's hurting them. So you want to be very careful when you brush it. And they will get used to grooming and they, they like it a little bit better as time goes on. But as you can see, she just, she just, like I said, she's, she's likened to an Angora. If she wasn't a mini lop, I wouldn't believe that her coat was even <laughs> anything other than an Angora. She's just got so much thick fur. And... This is not only to keep fur out of their digestive system and keep them comfortable because shedding is itchy and it bugs them and they're always trying to groom it off. You don't want this to get in their digestive tract. This is dangerous for them. Enough of it, especially with a rabbit that's as furry as Kali and loses as much fur as she does as quickly as she does, will quickly block her digestive system. But it will also block her partner's digestive system. And we have had that happen here with uh, Graham before, who, again, Graham is Kali's partner. So he's trying, trying, trying to keep up with all this fur that's coming out of her and grooming her and keeping her comfortable. And in the meantime, he's blocking his digestive system. So you're, we're, we are the humans and they count on us to provide care for them when we bring them indoors and, and uh, have them as pets. So if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button on this video. Feel free to share it, give us a like, come back here for future videos about best care practices for your pet rabbit. Thank you for being kind to animals and thank you for caring.